What's up, social media? So I wanted to talk about something today. I want to talk about fear. And you know, if I ever come and I do a video, it's because of something I've experienced. Uh, and I always talk from my experiences because I can't help you with anybody else's. I can only help you with mine. Uh, and this video is to encourage that person that walks in fear. Nothing to do with Corona. Please know it's not that. But this is fear of self sabotage when we can self sabotage relationships friendships marriages we talk ourselves out of something great because of fear what is the fear is the fear of the unknown the fear of the unfamiliar the fear of something different anything you tap anything that we do and we tap into something different it could create fear. And I want to come and encourage that person that says, I've, I've been self-sabotaging relationships, uh, shh, marriages, and everything because of my own issues that has nothing to do with anybody else's, of my own hurt, of my own past, present, hurt, future hurt. I don't want to get hurt uh, because I don't believe in me. When others around me believe in me, that's who I come to talk to. When everybody else believe in me, but I don't even see what they believe in. Can I come and encourage you that number one, you got to have faith over fear. Why faith? I know that sounds so cliche, so cliche, but it's so true. You got to have enough faith in you to not self-sabotage. And I hope I'm saying this word right. But to where you are talking yourself out of it, out of your own blessings. You're talking yourself out of that relationship. You're talking yourself out of that job because you just told yourself you can't do it. Can we change that self-talk to I am an overcomer. I am marriage material. I am a great friend. I am a loyal friend. I am a winner. I am, I got access to things that no one else has access to because God has given me different access, different keys. Come on, Dr. C, different keys to this thing. I have the key. I just don't believe in me. That's who this video is for. Believe in you when no one else does. Because your experience is totally different from anybody else's experience. Regardless if they don't understand your experience, there's somebody that is around you, that is connected to you, that understands your experience. And can't nobody tell your experience like you. You don't need nobody else to tell your experience. Have enough faith in you. The second thing, allow your faith to be outweigh your frustration of you. This, gonna, this video has nothing to do with nobody else. But you that's watching, don't allow your frustration of people, places, things, your atmosphere. Don't allow that to 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 deteriorate to not deteriorate to get you to a point to where you just back out because this unfamiliar like this pain right here i'm going through i i'm on the front line and i feel like i'm on the front line and i get the most blows than anybody you know why because those that are behind you are following you so you're gonna get the blows the question is can god really use you can you be used by god and take the blows and take the hits Yes, you can. You were made for this. You can do this. It ain't for the faint and hard. I'm going to tell you that. It ain't. It, this thing, fear, can overtake a person that, that doesn't understand the value of who you are. I come to tell you today, there's value in you. There's greater in you. It's inside of you. Why can I tell you that? Because I had somebody to speak it into me when I couldn't even see it or believe it. It has nothing to do with you being over cocky, overconfident. You just got to know who you are in God. And when you know who you are in God, that's all that matter. Hey, Mom. Not only that, I'm coming. Not only that, almost done. Not only that, you can have frustration over fear. But also, I mean, faith over f frustration also have 
you have to have an awareness of freedom to know that God owns a cattle on a thousand hills. And anything you work for and you want, it's going to take work. You can have it. So I come on this great day, y'all. Whatever day this is, I come to tell you, look here. Don't allow your fear to overtake you. Don't allow your fear to make you sink. Don't allow your fear to keep you from jumping. Don't allow your fear to keep you from soaring into the things that God has called for you in this season, in your right now, in this moment. Move in it. Believe in you. And if nobody else believes in you, tie your heart believes in you and know that you can do it because somebody believed in me to let me know I can do whatever. It don't, you don't have to be, uh, I heard Carla Arcane say, you don't have to be Alicia Keys. You don't have to be, you know, Taja, Taja, all these people. You don't gotta be, you know, the, you be you and you being you is enough. However you be you. Other than that, I love you guys. Stay blessed in all you do. Don't allow fear to overtake you. I got to go, but don't allow fear to overtake you. Be who God called you to be in this season. Fear versus faith. Allow your faith to be activated to take you to the next level. Love you much. Just words of encouragement. Uh, words of encouragement. Stay blessed. Greater is in you. Walk in it. Step over that fear. And them giants. Step over them, move them out the way, and walk in your destiny.